Hello Cancer, how are you doing? Welcome to your love reading, my beautiful Cancerians. Let's take a look and see how the energy of love is vibrating around you or circling around you. All right, we have commitment just hiding in this deck here. That could be like one of the questions. Like, are we committing? What are we doing? How are we moving forward? It's like this... Oh, it's just heavy with that. <laughs> All right, let's see. What's happening with my Cancers at this time? Cancer, like, share, subscribe. Also, if you're interested in a reading, personal reading, check out my services. How's this person feeling about Cancer here? We have influences. Mm. We have lost tea. I knew that was going to come up. Like, I get this energy of someone here being very, very attracted to you. But again, there's this non-committal energy or someone here wanting to know, are you serious about commitment or are you serious about us? We have dreams. So someone here again, it's like at first they came in with this very strong energy. I don't feel like this is love bombing. I don't. I feel like this is someone here that came in with a lot of love energy, with a lot of with a lot of passion and at some point i feel like this person started to make you question like what is the real reason what is it like what is it that you truly want from this connection like are you serious about commitment or is this something you've been just sort of like fantasizing about or having an illusion about here all right because i just get this vibe of like everyone is doing it you know i really want to feel this i really want to connect with someone I want something very passionate and maybe when connecting they felt something very different and they ran with that energy so i don't really again i don't get love bombing but i definitely get someone here that's now very conflicted in terms of exactly what they want so mm, this person again they could be extremely attracted to you extremely drawn to you but you're asking like what else like what else do you feel what else do you want here all right and we could just ask the cards so they definitely fantasize here. I get this Knight of Wands energy. They could be a little bit younger than you. If not, this is someone here that could be a little fickle. It's like they came in rushing. All right. All right. So this person thinks about you a lot, Cancer. They definitely think about you a lot. Okay. I feel like this person started to pull back or again, attempted to pull back once they felt like maybe they were falling in love. Or they felt like things were moving too quickly. Things were taking off too quickly. I mean, I guess that's the... Someone had the, this effect on someone here. Someone was just like, I really, really love this feeling. I really love this energy. I really love this connection. But then it's like this person started to pull back with this limit energy. I started to pull back. I started to realize my feelings were really, really getting involved. I started to realize that... You know, things, I started feeling things that I really couldn't express here. So if you're connecting with someone, and let's say like there's been a shift, or again, maybe there was some sort of sabotaging energy, I will say this is someone here that thinks about you a lot, and I feel like this person could be very like aloof in silence, like aloof, but at the same time, I still feel you, I still think about you here. Okay, what is this person concealing? Like, what are they, what is the secret about here? I haven't made a decision. This person could feel like you started pulling back, so they pulled back too. Like, I started feeling like you were pulling away a little bit, or I started feeling like you didn't know what you wanted as well. Mm. Let's get some more with that. This person could use distance as an excuse here. But I feel like someone here, they're like waiting for you to make like a bigger move or they're waiting for you to like show some sort of bigger gesture. There could be some sort of planning with traveling with the two of you or there could be something about this person like trying to trying to come and see you but also having motives of trying to see if you're going to say something, initiate something or if you're going to validate their emotions. For some reason let's get a little bit more about this person's current feelings about cancer okay i see some gifts coming in maybe this person's like a gift giver but it's like i want you to i get this vibe of like i want you to say something about me being silent 
So the two of you could be at this stalemate energy or we're not saying anything about the way we're acting, but it's like someone wants someone to call it out. Let's get their feelings here. So they still have faith that things are going to work out. Could be a Sagittarius, Gemini, Aquarius, Libra energy here. But it's like this person, it's like, not only did they slightly sabotage this energy, there's a very deep part of them that feels like it's you. It's you that I want. I know we've been through a lot. I know I've been through a lot in my past, but I still have faith that we are going to work out. I still have faith that we're going to balance things out, but I'm waiting. There's something big about this person like waiting for you to do something, say something. Let's see what this person wants you to say. Because I, I feel like say something and it's not say something I'm giving up on you. It's say something I'm missing you. Say something I want us to get closer. Say something so I could know that this is safe. I'm hearing. But there's a current energy of someone here just coming off as if they're not extremely committed or they're coming off as everything that they said in the beginning doesn't look like it's following through. That's why some of you would ask yourself, like, is this a love bombing vibe? And I don't feel like that's what it is. Okay, what does this person want my cancers to say or vice versa? Someone here wants you to have this, like breakthrough or they want you to say something in terms of like this is too much uh we need to talk like uh this is too intense i can't handle this anymore this person wants you to go through this breaking point of admitting how, how you feel about them what tell me what else this person wants to hear look at that like why can't you tell me the truth why can't you tell me how you really feel why can't you tell why can't you tell me how much you have feelings for me? Why can't you admit? Yeah, this person wants you to like confess how you're feeling. They want you to open up and it's I get this like validation. Like I want validation. I want you to let me know that this has been bothering you as much as it's been bothering me too. All right? And again, take that how that resonates. Anything else? Yeah, the heat between us is intense. Of course it's intense. Of course it's intense here. Anything that my cancers need to hear? This person thinks about you a lot, Cancer. They do. If you think this person... I'm hearing like if you think... If you think you're lonely now, wait until tonight. It's like this person at night, they think about you a lot. Now, okay, so now someone's saying like... Will you give up on me? Like, will you leave me like the others did? Will you actually stick through with this? Will you try to play me like the others did? Will you try to manipulate me like the others did? So someone here, it's like they're on testing energy. Like, I have to test you in order to know this is real. But there's something here maybe with like... The reason, you know, this could all be happening is because someone's past experiences or other influences here... Other influences that are stepping in. Maybe friends are like giving the worst advice. Sometimes that happens. Right? Like, oh, you don't need that. It's okay. Look, why can't I move on from you? Why can't I let this go? Why can't I just forget about this? Why can't I just actually be honest with myself and, and be cold? Right? Like, I'm acting like I'm cold, but I'm really not cold because I miss you here. So this could be a really big misunderstanding for a lot of you. You may think that this is someone here that doesn't want commitment, but they do. But they just have a very horrible way of expressing themselves or not the greatest way of expressing their true desires and emotions. All right. Anything else here moving forward that my viewers need to hear in this reading? And then we'll look at the outcome. Again, if you are interested in a personal reading, right? I work off of names. If you want me to look into your person and you want me to dive deeper into what is going on specifically with your situation check out my book a reading link below and check out the services and we could take a deeper look within your situation okay all right so let's get a little bit more please we have keep an open mind and we have passion i feel like this person's going to want to be passionate with you again this person is different <laughs> that's literally what i keep hearing like 
and give your relationship a chance. Someone here is just very different. I, I don't want to say this person has a different, you know, awkward or anything, but someone is, their personality isn't like other people. They have a tendency of expressing themselves in a very limited way. But at the same time, admitting in this reading, like, I want this passion. I feel like this could be very beautiful. I feel like it could be beautiful. Let's get a little bit more for the outcome. Let's actually use another deck here. Let's get a little bit for the outcome, Spirit. Let's get a little bit for the outcome coming in for Cancers, please. Please. It's a beautiful day. The outcome here. Work. Yeah, this temperance energy again here. Some of you, this person's going to want to work this out. They're going to come out of this three of wands, this stagnant energy. Could be a Sagittarius, a Virgo, or a Capricorn, Taurus, or even a Gemini I was getting earlier. But I feel like someone here is going to figure out how to work on themselves and figure out how to make this work. There's something about, like, balance. Let's try to figure this out here. Like, I've been distracted um, I've been distracted. I've been pulled away. I've been in my own space. I've been learning. I've been contemplating here, but I want to heal something. I want to say something here. So there is healing that comes in in the situation. Again, from there, of course, it could go in so many different directions, but there could be like a healing conversation or a healing moment, a moment where we're like one and we're holding hands and we're talking and we're, we're in this space of really understanding the, the sounds and the rhythm of each other's voices and hearts, okay? So there's something deeper here that happens moving into the future. Now, it may not lead into a long-term commitment, but it also um, may just give you that, okay, this is my decision sort of vibe, okay? I love you. I'll talk to you soon. Have a beautiful one. Cancerians. Mm -hmm.